The North American Challenger Tournament started with a bang as Group A of NA's finest teams readied for the night's matches. North American Squad League organizer Trex was joined by Indonesia's own Mirko to bring his special blend of MPL energy to the casting table. First up, Mobile Legends M3 finalists BTK stepped onto the field with We Smoke You. We shark balled in that skirmish, and it is going to be BTK looking for the objective up top. Brandon getting a really good furious dive with companies to kill, but he will be the one taken down. Again, Moba Zane jumping in. The damage comes through, and it is not enough to take Moba Zane down. That's a triple kill for Zane. Sadly, the hits kept coming for Team We Smoke You, as one of Canada's largest internet providers was experiencing nationwide network outages. I, I think it's the Lapu. Yeah, it is the Lapu who's still in the base. So yeah, we're just gonna be patient with that. Marking down Moba Zane once again for the knockout strike. Zia gets executed, and that's game number two done and dusted. A clean sweep for BTK. BTK, as expected, I think, by many, takes the clean sweep. The second series of the night featured Alter Ego fresh with some roster changes against the undefeated Team Meta. Look at Meta. They're looking for the base this time around. Aizen jumps in for the damage. But Zivakovsky who jumps in once again for the Tyrant event. Doesn't get the Tyrant range onto anyone. He gets kited and killed. The killing spree will be picked up by Destiny. They're looking to end the game and they will do it. Game number one for Meta. Definitely very back and forth, but Meta seemed to always kind of have the edge, right? Aizen still here to defend with Kovsky as well. The bad impact does a lot, but the Mystic Field will find him. And look at Annie. He just so objective. He goes in for the base. It's a 2-0 clean sweep. Meta, really? I mean, definitely a team to keep my eyes on, I feel like. Next up, we saw Ethereal take on fan favorites Hikaru Esports. Hikaru came on strong, showing that what they lacked in logo design, they made up for tenfold with the Knights only Savage. And he goes in with a dawning light there from Ash UT, trying to clear out the waves. Fate Town looking for the Maniac here. He goes in for more damage, but he is inside of the base. And Hikaru will just finish off game number one, just like that. Find that Savage. They might just go for the end here. Chef, full HP. They're looking to want to give it to him. And will, will he get it? The Savage for Fate Town as they end it with a clean sweep. But at the end of the night, we saw Black Bulls go head to head with Ultraviolet to close up our A group brackets. For here is that's not going to be enough high ground damage to clear out the wave. They do not have the wave clear. The blazing that is going to be based targeted down by uh, Black Bulls. That's going to be game number one taken away, one to zero. What a engage there. Look at this. Lope again with the perfect match. Goes in, tries to look for that fatal links, forces a few flickers out, but it's not going to be the. Oh my goodness, the oh. fatal links once again finds two, and the collapse is there. Triple kill here from the side of Paul. He's looking Damn. for the Almost the savage, but Kale, you gotta do it, buddy. You gotta take it, buddies. Savage. That's a wipeout for the Black Bulls as they take game number two. The night ended with BTK, Team Meta, Hikaro Esports, and Black Bulls reserving a seat in the top 16.